Hey folks, I'm Becky with Enduring Finances. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are changing things up, a slight little change with this, and I want to focus this video specifically on my monthly goals and my monthly budget breakdown. And then I'll do a separate video that breaks down my net worth updates and my investing returns just to kind of separate that and go slightly more in depth with that to a very minimal extent. But I just kind of like want to separate that out because they're two very drastic things and I just want to make sure that people understand that my investments are different than my monthly income. And my investments are long-term approaches, my monthly income is just a monthly budget. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into looking at my goals that I set for myself for the month of December of 2023 and see how I did. Um, my first two goals were physically based, physical based I should say. I wanted to weight train twice a week and then do cardio training twice a week. I did not accomplish either of those just because life happened and holidays happened and families happened and it just didn't work out exactly like that. I did get some workouts in but I didn't get all of them that I wanted. I did however enjoy the holidays a lot. I was able to spend time with the munchkins and my families and played a little bit of cards with my with my brothers and just had a lot of fun with Jackson and, and trying to enjoy the time that I had. I was able to save $100 for future house projects, save $100 for future trips and fun, and then save $100 for new photography equipment. And this is a piece, it's a, it's essentially it's just camera stabilizer for when I'm out and about taking photos in nature of wildlife and whatnot to help make it more smooth and the video quality increase that. So that is what I'm saving for and that is how I did. Um, I already went ahead and made a very big video, a very big video update on the goals that I set for myself, long-term goals for 2024 um, and look back on all the goals of 2023. I'll link that up here if you guys want to check that out. Um, but we're just going to briefly go over my goals for 2024 and then look at my goals that I set for myself for this new January month of 2024. Goodness, okay, this is going to be hard. So as far as the big eight goals that I have for 2024, I want to complete a triathlon. I want to try and break even with my photography business. We came pretty close this last year. I want to maintain a work-life balance where I'm focusing on being happy and being present in the moment. I want to visit one national park. I have my eyes set, set on Yellowstone. And then a big, I don't know if I'm going to hit this, but I want to fully rebuild my emergency fund back up to $12,000. I don't know if that's going to happen because I want to do house projects too and we have to find the balance between those. The ER fund will take precedence except for the fact that I don't want to die with the electrical. So it's it's a balancing act, which is where we go maintaining that balancing act and still being able to do things. So those are my big goals for 2024. Um, let's go ahead and look at the individual goals for January. First one I have is training program. I set up a training program for the triathlon that I'm going to do. I signed up for the Spudman Triathlon in Burlet, Idaho. That's the very end of July. I was lucky it sold out in less than 15 minutes and I got a slot. So I have started essentially training this week, um, working on doing that. So I have just about eight months to do that. So I want to do all my program workouts that I have. Um, this is what it looks like for the first two months on that, in case you were interested on that. Um, I want to go on one photo trip, and I have my eyes set on a specific location. I won't mention it right now, just because I'm not sure if it's going to happen or not, and I don't want to give anything away. Um, I want to iron out my photo business ideas. Part of my plan for 2024 is kind of breaching, breaching branching out into physical good sales instead of just virtually online. Um, so potentially entering local businesses and selling that way. So I need to kind of figure out what that would look like and all the finite details before I move forward with that. I want to save $100 for house projects. Again, save $100 for upcoming taxes because taxes are coming and I will owe taxes again this year. And then save $100 for that new photography equipment. It's looking about $350-ish on that, closer to $400. So it'll take me a little bit to get there, but I really think it'll pay off as far as um, photography stuff. So those are my goals for January. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into the budget breakdown for myself for the month of December, the end of the year 2023. 
First things first, we have our biggest expense, which is my mortgage. We paid that off $1,305. Then came my car insurance for $59.52 there. It was an even month, so I didn't owe any trash or city expenses with that. I paid $72 for my quarterly sewer bill, $9.60 split for my internet between personal and business down here. Spent $31.10 on my water, which I was spot on my estimation for that. I mean, golly gee, $1.10 off. I'm doing really good with that. As far as electrical, we are lower this month than I anticipated, coming at $109.13. And that is because it has been an overall warmer December and not as cold as I was expecting. We've had a lot of fog and a little bit of snow and a little bit of sunshine, but mostly fog and dreary days. Um, as far as groceries and all of these breakdowns, let's go ahead and jump over to see them here. So we can see we did a little bit of grocery shopping here, coming in at $289.15. I think this is the first time that I have come in under $300 as far as groceries, and I, I'm excited to that. I think we're all seeing a little bit slightly uh, decrease in expenses on that, as well as gas. Um, I did eat out a little bit. I went and met with some friends and we got some Smoky Mountain pizza, which was really good, um, for $12.17. And then I got some Panda Express for $8.37, bringing that total to $20.54 for eating out. As far as spending gas, it has decreased. We're getting really close to that $3.15 mark. Um, I purchased three times on that, filling up my tank with the $30.14 business credit from down here, uh, bringing my total personal expense on gas to $81.12, well below what I was estimating with that, um, under $100. So we're, we're good with that, and math is not right here, but you guys know what I mean. As far as health and maintenance, we did spend a little bit of money, uh, $200 on a counseling session, still going strong with that. Very happy with my therapist and how everything is just working out, and I feel like I'm in a really good place with that. Um, would highly recommend to anybody to go and talk to his therapist, even if you don't feel like you've had any really big major events happen. Like It's just nice to be able to kind of have a third party coach in your corner helping you see things from a different perspective and a different level because you're in the middle of it and they're above it to an extent and they can kind of help you see things differently and just help you process things. So 10 out of 10 would recommend that. Um, if you are wondering where you can find a counselor, um, I did a little post breaking down where I found mine. It's psychologytoday.com. Um, I will link the website down there and the link to the video where I kind of go through how that works, but essentially gives you the opportunity to screen uh, potential therapists and counselors in your area based on their gender and what their specialties are and what kind of services they offer and pay and all the things. Um, you should check it out if you're interested or you might be futurely, futurely interested in the future. Uh, moving on though, I spent $33.13 on my annual irrigation fees and then I bought new shoes for work and for my personal because my feet are really sensitive. Ever since I had a bad case of plantar fasciitis a couple years ago, my feet do not do well with uh, shoes as they break down and so I'm constantly buying new shoes um, almost every six months. And speaking of new shoes, I went ahead and bought a brand new pair of running shoes for $74.19. Um, and these are, my goal with this is to use them for the majority of my training for the triathlon. And then right within reason, a couple weeks before my triathlon, buy new shoes, uh, new running shoes, and run with those in the actual event so that I don't have any issues with that. Um, we'll see how that goes. But that brings my total health and maintenance to $402.70. As far as fun and other um, it's December. It was December. So that means vet time for Jackson. We spent $353 on the vet bill. They did labs and a workup and all the things. Uh, and then, of course, his six months of med. It's the trifecta, impair. Mm. It's a three for, for being out in the wilderness and exploring and types of things. Highly recommend. Um, if you have questions about that, just hit me up and I'll, I'll find the the prescription thing on it, but that was $222.14. And then speaking about my upcoming triathlon that I'm training for, I purchased a swim pool pass at a local pool here that does swim lanes uh, pretty much all day. For $100, this is a 20 punch pass, so it's $5 per one. Uh, and it was a really good deal, so I went ahead and did that. And then I also bought a used bike. 
Um, I needed a road bike for this. I don't have a road bike. I have a very, it, it sort of runs, it doesn't shift gears at all bike that I got for free, but I really needed something to train and do this. And I found a very nice used bike that fits my size for $150. And then, of course, I went ahead and renewed my fishing license for the next year for $35.80. And that wraps up my fun and other expenses to a whopping $860.94. And then we get into birthdays and holidays. And I think I did really good this year. We spent another $61.20 in Christmas presents and then $18.38 on my portion of Christmas dinner. And the whole monthly portion of that to $79.58. Luckily, I've been tracking how much money I've been spending on all my Christmas presents, and uh, I estimated that I was going to spend about $300. I have 10 nieces and nephews, three brothers and their wives, my parents, grandparents, friends, all the things. So this is a pretty expensive uh, Christmas, especially because all the munch kids are really young. It's really fun to get them gifts. Um, so I did really good. I only spent a total of $230.10 on all of my Christmas um, toys and things for this year. And then for birthdays, I came under as well. I only spent $117.64 and I was estimating $250. Um, we did go over on the trips and over on Jackson just because the vet bills and all the things and everything gets more expensive. But I'm really happy about my Christmas spending. Like, I feel like I just really nailed down and was really thrifty with what I was finding and just did a really good job and I'm happy about it. Um, but anyways, back into my budget breakdown. So that wrapped up all of the individual spending breakdowns for this month. Um, so all of my personal expenses combined came into a whopping $3,320.38. December is my most expensive month by far, primarily because of Jackson's vet bills. Uh, but I can estimate I can prepare for that every single year because that's probably what his vet bill is going to be every single year. Um, so I can save and budget for that more effectively in the future. Um, but we did really well, just a little bit over what I was anticipating with that. Um, as far as business expenses, let's go ahead and jump down into that. Um, so we can see that we have that internet breakdown, 85-15% split. So $50 business expense to internet. We didn't have anything for much security or enduring finances, but the big one that we run into is that Holy Smokes Photography. So let's go ahead and jump into the breakdown. Um, I had more Bluehost, which is my website hosting service, uh, more fees there, just kind of working some kinks out with that. And then I spent $22.48 on Etsy fees. This is for um, what they might take from transactions of sales and just what it costs to have an item up posted for sale. There's fees involved with that. And then $34.46 on marketing. I am kind of, I, I'm gonna analyze it this next month and see how I wanna move forward with their marketing and if it's really paying out for me. Um, maybe I'll do a video about it, who knows? But I'm gonna look into that. And then I spent $16.15 on printing photos um, through a third party production company that I have. And then $22.44 shipping out photos and calendars. Um, that's something that I do at the post office when I have those here. I mean, my total expenses to Holy Smokes Photography to $254.29. And then as far as additional income, we have $30.14 in gas. And this is because of the additional income sources that I earn. I track all of my mileage and whatnot on a separate tracking sheet. and go ahead and submit that in with my taxes and all the things. So that brings my business expenses up to $274.15. Um, so a little bit more than I was estimating just because of the Bluehost fees we're working through that. Hopefully we'll get that figured out this next month. Um, but yeah, that breaks down all of the personal and business expenses that I had. Let's jump into the income that I earned. All right. so. Income wise, we have that VA benefit coming in at $508.05. My part time job, we got paid three times in December because it just happened to be one of those months. It happens twice a year because of the way the weeks work. Um, so I got paid three times and my boss took time off, so I covered extra shifts. So I ended up bringing in $1,995.29. This is my biggest month that I have ever had with them, and I also earned 
the biggest check individually for a two week work period that I have ever earned. And then I earned $500 from other income sources. And then this is not updated with my uh, website ads. I earned 23 cents off of Enduring Finance's website. As far as Holy Smokes Photography, I earned $149.77 from my calendars. Uh, $49.99 off of my print sales and the $1.34 off of stock photos that I sold for a total of $201.10. And then we can see that my additional income, we didn't earn any money from dog sitting, donating plasma, we earned $540. We were getting really, really close to hitting $10,000 total for this. I'm going to break that down once it happens. We're within a couple of donations of that, so probably next month I'll hit it. I didn't earn any money from DoorDash, Rover, or Uber Eats, which is surprising because I, I was planning on it and then I just didn't didn't feel like doing it because I can do that. And then Lime Skewers, I went ahead and earned $294.15 off of that. Next month it'll probably be little less just because it's the winter and people aren't using them as much because it is Idaho. But we brought our total additional income up to $834.15. So combined with all of the other income sources, we earned $4,038.59 with the extra 23 cents that I forgot to add into my little calculation here. Um, but that's okay because looking at our total income, we can see that we are positive $444.06. And that is why we were able to kind of complete those goals that we had as far as saving money for taxes and for house projects and all those things. And we're looking pretty good with that. I think we, we had a good month there. Um, I'm going to wrap up this video here. The next video that I do will be breaking down the, the investments that I have and then updating my net worth as far as how those investments impacted that. Uh, but that is going to wrap things up for me today, guys. Hopefully uh, you guys ended the year on a positive note and saved money and didn't go too crazy overboard with your Christmas spending. And if you did, that's okay too. I hope you, you just had a really good time and enjoyed your holidays. So I will catch you next time, guys.